All right, welcome back to yet another video in my Unreal Engine third person shooter series. This is Unreal Engine 5, but it should work fine with 4 as well. <coughs> Everything seems about the same so far. So, anyway, let's get to it. We are still working with the inventory stuff. Uh, I'm not sure which video this is 7th, 8th, 9th inventory uh, video. You can see we have a rifle there, so guess what we're gonna do in this video. Uh, but this is what we have so far. We can equip our pistol to our uh, to our unequip slot, and we're gonna make it so that we can make a main hand as well. We're probably gonna do like consumables and maybe some cosmetics as well. So this is what I'm gonna plan. For now we have a main weapon and I guess we could do uh, some more of these actually let's let's add a not drop slot we are gonna do item slot we are gonna wrap with horizontal box and we're gonna copy this four times, three times. So we're gonna do like this, and let's do some more text. And we will do quick slots. So this is for consumables, I guess. So one, two, three, four. So four quick slots. I guess that's fine. And um, let's do a spacer with arms right here. Mm. Actually, can't you? Okay, more well, because I wanted to align ten. That's better. Now they look about the same. Perfect. Um, and what we also need to do is, I'm probably just gonna create, um, maybe I will show you actually, yeah, let's do that as well. Let's make this a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, inventory, something like that. And we have the inventory grid. I'm probably gonna, oops. Size box. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine for now. Um, we're gonna put these ones down a little bit just to make some space. And we will do some more text. Uh, no, item slot. Armor. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, this could be chest. So this is the chest. Or, or let's do head first. Head. And 
let's do I need all of these stuff to be all of this should be Should be anchored to the top right. So everything anchored ahead, and let's do one more. I might not set all of these up, but I'm going to show you how it's done at least. So we have the head, we have the chest, and we have the so these are the equipment slots head chest legs quick slots and main main and secondary weapons that's fine good how does that look? Yeah, it's just placeholders. Not sure if I will do any artsy stuff in this tutorial. We'll see. We will see. Mm -mm. Something like that. So, um, So, okay, how many items? Five, four, five, six. Okay, let's do six in a row. Uh, inventory. We have this number of columns. That's gonna be six. Um, no. So it broke because something in the inventory didn't add up. What? What's that? Uh, so if we do six rows, let's do one, two, three, four. Is that gonna be enough? So four times, should we do four, four rows? No, it's six columns, four rows. What's that? 24 items in the inventory. So that could be a good maximum. So, uh, event, pick up item. Um, Actually, because we could do item stacking as well. Um, so for One second, I'm gonna think a little bit. Um, all right, welcome back. Okay, so I've, we're gonna add. Uh, uh, so, what we need to do? We need to do max max inventory space, stacking items, um, and uh, the rest of the items: com com uh, consumables, main hand, and cosmetics so it's probably gonna be quite a lot more videos in the inventory part could almost be its entire own series but yeah anyway so um, let's get to it so if the 
before we add before we add we check if the length of the detail of the inventory is what did I say 24 uh, is less or equal to so this is obviously your max inventory size you could explore this is could be exposed as a variable or whatever I'm just gonna do two now just to show you if it works oh, sorry. so we can't pick up more than two items I guess so picked up that should be two. Okay. What happened? This happens sometimes. I don't really know why. Uh, all right. One, two, three, four. And it's an integer, so we need to have one less. Since the first instance is always zero. So if we would have wanted it to be two, it should have been set to one. We want 24, so let's do 23. Perfect. So now we can have 24 items in our inventory before it stops. But you can see that we can pick all of these up. So. Uh, yeah, you could obviously do weight as well if you want to. That's still working, good. Yeah, there's plenty of ways to do this. I'm fine with that. Uh, should we use this? Ah, let's not do that yet. Um, all right. So that's one thing. That's maximum items. Let's do stacking. So for stacking, we need to. Uh, item slot uh, add text so stacking so this is gonna be set to let's do 12 by default how big is that can we see it yeah, that's fine we could even do it smaller let's do 18 Perfect. Here we go. So that's the stacking text. So in the item slot uh, on uh, begin play, uh, actually, so item details. We need to do another one called. No, we don't need this one. Remove that. So, uh, no, actually, float or integer max stack. Uh, and let's just create a variable in the item class uh, called stack amount. So when we add uh, so we add to the inventory before we add to the inventory if 
the if the let's see If the max stack, I'm gonna think a little bit. All right, okay, so if we find, so before we add the item, we try to find uh, it in our inventory. Uh, and we did this before, right? Uh, in this, minus one if not found so if it's equal to minus one that means the item is not found then we add it but if it is found found we get index uh, Okay, so it turns the item there. So yeah, so uh, don't, so if you get not a copy, a reference of this one, set member, Break. Okay, this is quite complicated. So, sorry, I'm, th I'm doing this as I'm thinking, so I, I get that this might be a little bit confusing. Uh, I'm probably, I'm, I'm gonna pause and I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna walk you through it, because otherwise this might take a little bit longer than, uh, than needed. One second. All right, that took me longer than I would like to admit. So we're probably, we're, we're gonna collapse this to a function or something after we've made sure that it works. But basically what we did is, before we add the item, um, in the item details, add a variable for max stack and current stack amount. So those are the two variables that we need to use. Um, so basically, before we add the item, we f get the inventory, we do a for each loop with the items in the inventory. For each uh, item, we check if the item details of the inventory slot we are checking, if the name is the same as the item we're trying to pick up. You could do whichever one, because it's gonna be the same if it is the same item. But I'm just gonna go with name. Um, so if the name is the same and if the name is the same and the max, the current stack amount is less than the max stack, then we're gonna increment. We're gonna get the current stack amount, increment it by one, and then we're gonna s grab the one, this one, the array element, and we're gonna set member. So set member in item details. And then on the right here, you can expose what member you want to set. We're going to set current stack amount. So that should create the same item, but with one more in the current stack amount, instead of creating a new item. And when the array is complete, we continue. Um, Actually, because that would make us automatically, yeah, we need to add a branch. Actually, let's let's collapse this to a function now. Like that. Grab 
all of these. Oops. So yeah, I'm gonna collapse them to a function. Check uh, for f check for stack. We're gonna call the item to shake. Uh, connect that one again. So So and we add a return node. And as an output, we'll do a bool and we'll call it does stack or just stack stack question. Mark. So in this case, uh, so in this case, it will stack. So we will set it to true. But if it completes and that doesn't happen, we'll set it to false. That should work. So there are two return nodes now, one from there and one from here. This might not work, we'll see. So if it doesn't stack, we're going to add the item, but if it stacks, we are just going to uh, montage should be played no matter what. So we'll do that there. Mm. No matter what, we should destroy the actors. So we're just not going to add it to the inventory. So that's the only thing. That's the thing. Inside your gun, I already changed it. Max stack five, current stack amount one. Just to, to try. Uh, I'm 90% I'm sure this is not going to work at this point. Um, We probably missed something, but let's see. Ah, yeah. So in the item slot, we need to f get this one. Mm, and on update slot, we need to uh, make sure the text is a variable. Get the stacking text and we're gonna set text to current stack amount. So if we grab this, it should be one and nothing happened. picking it up though. Let me pause and fix this. Uh, the video is getting long so I want to fix wrap this one up. One second. All right perfect. Once more that took me quite a while. Um, okay I got it working. So basically um, after we play the mo montage and we, we, we start by doing the function. Check for stack. It checks for the item details that we're about to pick up. We're going to do a for each loop. We're going to break the item details. So this is the same check as before. We're checking if the name is the same. If the name is the same, we check if the max, if the current stack amount is less than the max stack. If it is, that means we can add one more item. So we will increment. <coughs> And this is what was wrong. You can't just, because I thought you could just get the and set details from here. But you can't. You need to get, so we, we, need, we need a reference to the inventory 
from the inventory we're gonna get and we're gonna get this array index so I'm just gonna tidy it up by creating a local variable It's fine. Some lines doesn't matter. <coughs> so we check the we get from the inventory we get the index, and as a result we set it from there. And make sure to get a reference, as I said before, not a copy, because the reference is you can change it. We set the member in this one, and we stack. And if we complete without stacking, we're not gonna stack. It's just if we should add a new item or not. So in the gun, I set it to one can stack current stack amount one max stack three. So one can pick it up, two can pick it up again, three can pick one more up, but the fourth is a new item. So that's it. I'm uh, dangerously close to, to my uh, old habit of very long videos, 26 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to end it here. We'll continue in the next one. Let me know if you have any more questions. And if you're new, please like and subscribe if you followed along this far. And see you in the next one.